can you hear me now? That's good, that's good. Can you hear me now? That's good, that's good. Can you hear me now? That's good, that's good. Can you hear me now? That's nice, that's nice, that's... <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. What's up guys? Um, so I'm gonna do a quick Q&A, but I was gonna do with this thing But the battery is completely dead. It won't even turn on anymore. No power need batteries I don't know if you see that. So what I did is I went to the store and picked up a new vlogging camera uh, I needed one of these anyways because I use the Sony M3 or sorry Sony M4 Sony RX 100 M4 uh, I didn't like it because the stabilization was weird. It's just like whenever you move the camera, it's like you, you you can really feel the shake. So I had to get a G7X. I yeah, I used to have these a long time ago, but then I broke it. I was like crap. So I got the Sony, and now I'm back to Canon. What the heck? Oh my gosh, the battery is about to die on this one. What the heck? I just oh, I totally thought the battery would be like at two bars or something. It's t definitely gonna die soon. So I'm gonna do a quick Q and A. Right now, um, if you don't like, I don't know, listening to me or whatever, or if you don't want to hear me ramble and answer questions, I don't, I don't mind. Just exit. I won't get offended or anything, cause, you know, I wouldn't. Shoot, I wouldn't even listen myself. But if you do like these Q and A's and like watching me, give it a huge thumbs up. I appreciate all you guys who watched the video all the way through, and uh, let's get started. Believe me, I'm not lying when I say the battery's dead. I don't know if you can see it. You see it flashing? Oh, that's that's creepy. Hold on, hold on, let me focus. Let me focus. Come on, focus! This is the only bad thing about this camera. It's so hard to like autofocus. But you see that blinking thingy right there? Yeah, that's basically um, the low battery signal, but Whatever, okay, let's do these questions and answers and things. I asked you guys questions, or a tell me guys, or ask me questions about YouTube, and uh, let's see what happened. Okay, what do you do if YouTube block you? What do what would I do, or what do you do to get unblocked? Uh, I would uh, ask them to unblock me because, you know, come on YouTube, why would you block me? That's not good. Why did you want to start making YouTube videos? Honestly, the first time I started making YouTube videos, it wasn't even for YouTube. YouTube was like born and then I just made random videos and YouTube was just a place to like store videos. So I stored all my videos on YouTube and uh, little did you know, people liked it and I am where I am now because I stored my videos on YouTube as storage space and to show my friends and family, it eventually became I don't know, like people loved it. It eventually came, became like a worldwide people viewer watching stuff. Thank you, YouTube, for everything you do. I'm sorry if the if the if, the, if this cuts off randomly. You know why? It's because there's no more battery. How long do you expect to be doing YouTube? I will keep doing YouTube until I don't know until I don't get anything from it. But right now, YouTube is working for me. So why stop something that works? You know, if something works, just keep going. You know. That's how it goes, so it'll be a while. On average, how much do you earn from your vlogging? See, I don't like saying how much I earn because it's like, you don't ask someone, like, how much do you make? You're a doctor, how much you make, huh? Hey, hey. I don't know, I just don't, I mean, just know that it's 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 making, it's giving me life, you know? It's it's supporting me, uh, paying for my rent, for my car, my phone bills, so it's, it's pretty good. What inspires you to keep filming, aside from your own fans? Okay, inspiration comes from different things, either you're watching different, YouTubers or different movies like yo for me my inspiration comes from wanting to create because I, I see myself as a creator I, I don't really see myself as an actor or whatever I, I, I came to this world I feel like to create and share my creation to you guys to you know hopefully it'll inspire you guys to do the same to others so sharing is caring I love sharing without sharing I wouldn't be where I am because others my inspiration shared their work with me so I'm gonna share my thoughts and my wisdom with you guys who are some of your favorite youtubers I have a couple Casey Neistat freaking changing the vlogging game PewDiePie, PewDiePie! He's a really good gamer. Vanoss Gaming is really good too. I just love how he does his gaming. It's like a freaking like a TV show. It's really cool. Uh, who else do I like? 
that's really all I watch, just those three, to be honest. Like, Casey's vlogs, I watch them all the time. PewDiePie's every once in a while, I'm just like, oh, dude, this guy's funny. Vanoss, every once in a while, too, just to see um, how do you make gaming, 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 gaming. I can't, I can't talk right now. I'm just, like, just speaking as fast as I can. Hopefully, the battery doesn't die on me. Okay, what's next? What's next? When did you start YouTube? I started in 2006, when YouTube was, you know, early... Sorry, the battery died. Bye. Have fun with your haircut. <laughs> She's getting a haircut and uh, I'm gonna continue the Q&A. So let's do this. Oh my gosh. You know what I just realized? I left my phone at the apartment. Oh, I'm just gonna borrow Monette's. Hold on, I'll be back. Thank you, you look nice already. <laughs> okay, I got Monette's phone. I love this camera a lot, but there's two things wrong with this camera. One, I wish it was a little wider. Like, dude, I really gotta hold it far enough so you can see my full face properly. But I wish it was just a little bit wider. And two, I don't like the autofocus. Like, you can go close, it takes forever. I'm telling you, like, forever to autofocus. See? Go back out, it takes forever, see? It should be instantly. Okay, let's continue this Q&A. All right, here we go. Uh, what do you use to edit my videos? I use Adobe Premiere Pro. I used to use Windows Movie Maker back in the days, but then I grew out of it. Just use whatever you're comfortable with. And if you're comfortable, get better at it. That's that's my theory about editing stuff. It doesn't matter what you edit on, as long as you're good at it, and you're comfortable at it, and you're fast at it. it. Doesn't have to be fast, but you know, good. Okay. Woo. How would you feel if someone started writing fan fiction about you and other YouTubers, e.g. Alex? <laughs> Dude, do it! I love reading fan fiction. Sometimes it's funny and I'm just like, what? It's insane! And so other times I'm like, what? I can't believe you wrote about that. But either way, I don't mind. If you if you have fan fictions, send it to me. Hashtag fanfictionroy or something and then I'll probably read it and then I'll probably share it. I don't know. Feel free, your mind can go as far as it wants. So, fan fiction, no biggie, I don't mind. What is my greatest achievement? Uh, let's see, I guess YouTube for one, because uh, just having so many followers and subscribers on YouTube, not a lot of people can do that. So I'm extremely, extremely, extremely thankful and extremely grateful and blessed. And another one is finishing college. You know, uh, not, a, not a lot of people can do that. And I'm, I'm just, uh, to be honest, I don't even know how I did it. I just did it for my mom. And just because she, she, she wanted her siblings, not siblings, she wanted her children to finish college. That's like the main reason why she moved here. So it's really, really awesome um, accomplishing her dreams. So three more siblings left. Y'all better finish college for mom. Y'all know you guys are watching this. Raymond, Russell, Ariel. Do it! <laughs> Do you like filming or vlogging on your DSLR? Uh, I do actually, because one, uh, the quality is better. Uh, it's a very wide angle, uh, audio is better. The only thing is, it's huge! It's like carrying a freaking baby. Like, you gotta do that all day. But, uh, you know, you get used to it, you get adjusted. But for this one, I'm only vlogging, I'm only vlogging on this camera right here because I had no battery for the other one. I don't know where a charger is, so I'm left with this one. But, you know, vlogging with whatever doesn't really matter as long as you're good at it and you can only get better at it. That's my theory. When did you, when did you get exp uh, when that when did you uh, I can't speak that when did uh, when did you get whoa what the heck when did you got expired inspired I can't read right now what's wrong with me when did you get inspired for making the Rolanda character I got inspired back in middle school there was this middle school Halloween party and I thought it'd be extremely funny to dress up like a girl so. It kind of stemmed and rooted from that experience and then I kind of just, it, it was funny, everyone loved it, so I just, you know, kept it. What, like I said, why stop doing what everyone likes or what you're good at? I'm, I'm, I guess I'm good at, like, you know, being a girl, but why not stop it? Just do whatever you, you're good at and just keep going and see how far that goes. If you don't like it in the end, then stop. I mean, if it tires you out, stop. But if you keep liking it and you enjoy it, keep going. Why not? Who do you want to collab with the most? Uh, Casey Neistat. This awesome guy. Awesome guy. I don't know. I think I'm in love with Casey. I don't know what it is. It's just, it's just like a, just this wise figure, and then he's just very wise, and then it's everything he does is cool. I don't know why. Is it just me? Do you guys watch Casey too? Isn't it the thing? Is it? It is it? It's it's the same. It's. 
I can't speak right now. Why can't I speak? He's just a cool guy. Do you do you get bored of vlogging? To be honest, I do, but at the same time, it's like I have to. Like, there's like this one time after episode 100, I didn't vlog for like a week, and during that week, I got like anxiety. I was like, crap, I should be vlogging. I should be vlogging. Oh my god, it kind of got to that point where it's like a habit now. But do I get bored of it? I do. But, you know, you, I just gotta do it because I, I really want to connect with you guys and connect with me. Plus, it gives me, like, a reason to do work. So, more work, more effort, more connectivity equals happiness. Yeah! Okay, let's do one more question. Hey, Roy, did you ever think you would make it this far on YouTube? To be honest, no. I don't think a lot of YouTubers thought they would make it that far on YouTube. There's, like, a formula to make it or to be successful on YouTube. Uh, one, you just gotta be consistent, okay? Success doesn't happen instantly, okay? Sometimes it's faster for others, and it's slower for others. But either way, if you're consistent and you keep doing what you're doing on YouTube, posting posting content constantly, so if you say you're, you're gonna post every Wednesday like we do every Wasabi Wednesday, and you keep doing it, then more than likely people will continue to come every single Wednesday, and if they like it, they'll Tell more friends and tell more of their doctors or pets or whatever to keep watching it. Also, there's an algorithm on YouTube. A lot of people don't know this, but there's an algorithm on YouTube. Basically, the more the more the viewers watch the video, okay, let's say you have a 10 minute video. So if they watch like 100% of it, okay, then it's more likely to show up on the suggested videos on the side. So if you, all you inspiring uh, YouTubers out there, just make uh, make your content really interesting and like you know uh, that's why I don't like doing those long vlogs like this one just talking and rambling and rambling because people's attention span just like stops and they're like ah this is boring back so it's better for a video to be interesting all the way through rather than like parts of it that's like that's that's really the reason why I like doing short vlogs because one if I make it short and sweet all the way through and make it nice all the way through it's it's more um what do you call it people will watch more than likely most of it so that's the tip make it watchable all the way through because the more if the the more people that watches it all the way through like probably not let's say like 50 60 percent of the time or 60 percent of the way through the video then you are more likely to see your video on the suggested page on the, on the little tab thing on the right side on YouTube, which really helps. So be consistent, uh, make sure it's interesting, for sure, make sure, basically put out what you want to see yourself. So if you watch your video on YouTube and you don't like it, more than likely other people won't like it. So put out what you wanna see and what entertains you, okay? That's the tip, okay. Okay, I think Monet is, let's check on Monet. Hey, how's your hair? Oh, it's so shorter. <laughs> what, what are you reading? You're cute. Look at that. Reading Korean barbecue. I don't know if it's focused or not, but I'm in the vlog here. I gotta finish my food. See y'all tomorrow.